You're clearly not wanted here. Everybody Better hates find bears. More welcoming. No matter where I go, everybody is constantly attacking me for being a bear. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> but I mean, we do fight back at some point. It's it's not all bad. At the end of the day, we are still bears, and it isn't that difficult to kill goblins. But the goblins did have a bit of a trap, which did catch me off guard. I've actually never seen them set that off before. Uh, I've played the game through like 10, 15 times. I've never seen them set that trap off before. They knocked it all out of air form. It has changed every single one of us back in there and then just fuck the rest of us. Pretty cool though seeing them set that up. But yeah, finishing them all off wasn't very difficult at all. I think only one of us got knocked out of air form the second time. So if it wasn't for the trap, but this fight would have been easy peasy. In this video though, we'll see where the game starts getting really glitchy from things triggering and not triggering, from things being in bear form and not in bear form. I have just noticed my mouse is on the screen on the recording as well, which I don't know how it's there. Oh, I did move it, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, we start getting the, the visions here where the absolute starts getting into our head and that kind of thing here. I've never had it happen up here though. It's always happened on that bridge outside of the goblin camp. So it caught me by surprise being up here and it did pull me out of air for to do this. But you'll see it's only doing it to my main character. The rest, everyone else didn't get pulled out of air form for it. It's just kind of interesting to see who gets pulled out of bear form and who gets left in it and who gets pulled into the cutscene and who doesn't. And you'll see a few things later on in the video where um, certain characters aren't aware of things that just happened even though they were right there and sometimes not even in bear form. So my game started getting pretty confused. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. I remember and the first time this happened to me, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. <laughs> in my it's kind of cool seeing some stuff though, like looking back on it when you've played the game, being like, oh, I know who they are, I know who this is, I know what's going on here. Strange energy swells around it's definitely you. a fun game to replay. The Kikyanki Erlu. Uh, it's repelling the presence. And yeah, it's weird that the artifact was just here, but Shadow Heart's not here for some reason, even though she stood my right next to me. My Look how worried my character looks. <laughs> yeah, I just have Shadow Heart's artifact now, and she's not here to have given it to me. And then the camera just stares at the ground for some reason. <laughs> it really does start getting glitchy. Um, there, there's a couple later on that are really bizarre, but you see little bits and pieces itself. like this where the, the game just doesn't really dormant. understand what's happening. The voice and visions are gone. So yeah, we got kicked out of that and we're instant with everyone else. So we went back to camp and you'll see Will and, Gale, uh, Will and Astarian's dead body still there. Randomly a dead pig. But yeah, I thought I'd take a rest after that, and we got put into the scene with... Glazel. I couldn't remember her name for a second, eh? <laughs> the air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. We had a dodgy curry the night before. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you wipe. Lazel's sneaking up on us. Can you feel it crawling through you? No, Tendrils it's just a dodgy curry. Your You'll be alright. Gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Yeah, your it's definitely piercing our belly though. Your fair, flesh fair point. Swelling. I can. I see it. I used to hate Lazel when the game first I came out. She's definitely grown me. on me. She's one of my favourites now. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. I just wish I didn't have such creepy First little you, noses. Then the others. I would then like the gift a lot more if they didn't have those weird noses. Then I guess they'd pretty you much just be looking like an elf, wouldn't they? A touch of now they just look like an elf that's a burn victim. I don't like their weird wrinkly skin as well. It's like a weird frog elf. Yeah, it's just a fever. Rest will break it. We'll be alright.
Like I've mentioned a few times in the other videos, I'd really appreciate any mind. sort of constructive criticism in the comments, or yours. if you like the video, give it a like, drop a sub and whatnot. But know this. I'm still quite I'm new to this, I'm still you. figuring stuff out. Um, if the yeah, does not any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Lazel being nice and chill as always. Definitely doesn't take anything super seriously. But then it finally lets us go to sleep, and then we get another scene. Very eventful night for us. <laughs> Random Karen came to us in our sleep. I came just in time. Look at her hair. You are transforming. <laughs> I love making the um, dream visitor just look so stupid. And look at her. She's like looking around looking for our manager. Your salvation. And not for the first time. I yeah, saved Karen. you before. I hate this woman. I mean, yeah, I hate the Emperor. Nice of her to catch us, though. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Oh, thank you. Not while That's good I'm to know. Around. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. It's funny having the camera angle like that, like looking up her, making her look huge, and then it cuts Good. the next scene and she's tiny. <laughs> it's like they buried the camera in the ground for that angle. We haven't much time, so listen closely. Yes, we're listening. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. No. Your instinct is to resist we're the power than the it gives, but I like how her whole thing is, it. there's Nurture amazing it. potential within you. It's not from you, it, it's the parasite. It you, you're, you're pathetic. But, for the sake of both of us, but harness the power of the parasite. Learn that wiggly tap hole that went in your eyeball. A wave in her hand. So like, look. I'm moving these rocks for you. Get this big skull off. I still don't know what that skull is. If anybody knows what the skull is, let me know. But what's it from? Is it like a, a fight god for the or fate something? Of Feyrun, a fight we are losing. It's kind of cool looking there. It's a really cool aesthetic in this. You part can of change the game. that, but only if you embrace your potential. I can't remember what this place is called, but that place the Gith are always traveling around. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. Not the enemy. I will be back. I'll be back. Bye bye. Wake now. You'll feel better. Okay, I thank promise. you. Now let's just carry on as if nothing ever happened. See, we're fine. <laughs> a star in a world's bodies in the background. <laughs> yeah, after this, we moved on up to the cave where the gnolls are. Had a brief little interaction with them. Got a bit of a fight, no big deal. Bears versus gnolls. I pick the bears every time. I hate these pricks though. So not to get joined, not to join in the fight. Do they expect us to defend them? Shut your mouth and nah. Your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. I do value my skin. Azel might not. I like also maybe it doesn't. They could both do some moisturizer or something, but eventually we got knocked out of our bear form and it triggered a conversation with this dude. You refused to talk to us while we were a bear though. Eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No. We are forbidden the meat. This meat. Like Bob in The Walking Not Dead. We're tainted meat. World as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash. I think it was but Bob. it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Now, please be on our team here. We would like you very much to join. Obey the voice, brave the fames, and feast on the meat in the cave. We didn't fail our dice, so I don't know what you're talking about. Deep in the chaos of her mind, something responds to your command. A tapple. It is the source of the voice. She will obey it. She will obey you. Good girl. Good doggy. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. 
Get on top of his. Get it. Yeah, you walk down here. They've literally just killed the two dudes instantly. We're like, hello, little hyena. You're all our friends now. Could have started looting stuff up, but we had to come out of bear for another little chat with the hyena lady. She is still ravenous. Her mind a hungry. Pit. She's still hungry. The flesh of the survivors so? wasn't enough to satisfy her. This one's a bit of a higher dice roll. That's all good. Sensing totally didn't save the game and load in between. Karlak, the bear disapproves. Ecstasy, Shut your fucking mouth. Your command. Its host will feast on null flesh to control the hunger. Yes. To keep her teeth. Good from null lady. Throat. The nulls are quite cool. It's a very unique creature. Like you don't see it in any other kind of games. Weird hyena animal man thing. Well, it's from like a possessed type. I don't know. How are gnolls made? So you see a bit before where it's like all the gnolls in the ground bloated up and full and then they turn into gnolls. How does that happen though? Is it like a werewolf? Like they get bitten by a gnoll and then they become a gnoll? And then we hit this one. Turn into bear. Hit this one. Then she hit that one for us. But she still survived, so. You know what? Beat the shit out of her. Not really a lot you can do against four bears, to be honest, because you hit one, it heals itself. Hit another one, it heals itself. Hit another one, it heals itself. Now we did open this up and we found a flask. Which I've never actually opened this class before. So I was like, why don't I do that now? Because somebody told me you can open it up. I had no idea what's in it, what it is, if it's potion and whatnot. So I removed the stopper. I've always saved it. Because I thought it was useful late in the game. Which I think it is. I think you can give it to someone. Yeah, no, it turns out it's something to go. And he instantly does something very horrible. Kill Scratch. Why, why would you do this? So, Scratch is dead. We had to avenge him. It's just so annoying though. Shouldn't have made I opened up a flask and Scratch is instantly dead. So he just beat the shit out of this weird big eyeball monster. It looks more like something out of Final Fantasy. In my opinion. Yeah, fuck this guy. We go over and have a look and Scratch is definitely dead. I tried everything to revive him and you just can't. So we took the bears out for a bit of revenge. Look for someone to take our, um, our grief out on it. Eat the shit out of some gnolls. We found a burnt down little area and walked on in. They looked like they needed a fireman. And we all know bears are the best firemen, aren't they? So we just calmly pushed the door down. And then we just plodded on through. Like bird em, bird em, bird em, bird em, bird em, bird em. Hello, can you hear me? Everybody knows bears are fireproof, so we're fine. And then we just walk on over to this lady that's screaming for help. Punch open the woods. And she runs on out. Doesn't even thank us, just runs by. And we open this one up as well, because there's a dude inside here. We do get yeeted back a little bit. Tried to talk to him. He refuses to talk to bears. So fuck this guy. He can die in the fire. Yeah, like I said, bears are fireproof. We're fine. We're not all losing lots of health very rapidly. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, so we just plod on out. A little bit of blood on us. A little bit of smoke staining us. They all refuse to talk to us. 
So I had to come out of bear form quickly, just because maybe there's a reward for saving her. Second we come out of bear form, they're all like, oh my god, thank you. Fresh air. At last. Your training serves you well, child of Gith. I'm in your debt. You don't know what training Captain, I had. Are you alright? I'm a fucking bear. It takes more than fire gift. to break me, Yuva. I mean, the fire did nearly close, break you, let's be honest. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward. Yeah, the Drow if could my not eyes dude. Ears can be believed. Oh, there, dude. That dress Gauntlet. is kind of cool, though, isn't Report it? Report to the manor and send for reinforcements. Why is she dressed we so fashionably? The Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of Everyone you. else is in armor and shit, and she's Count just like, nah, I just got a purple and gold dress in it. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, Githyanki. I must ask again for your aid. No. Please. I refuse. Rescue Raven Guard from his I don't think I've captors. ever saved Raven Guard before. <laughs> will you for your effort. I think he's died May in I every single playthrough I've done. Or I've just never even seen him again. I'll rescue Thank Duke you. Raven Guard. And yeah, should your I'll courage ride. falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Really Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. Yeah, we're a bear. We'll sniff him out. And join you when I can. Easy peasy. Fist? To work. She got some hips on her mind. Yeah, they've been plotted on down. I tried doing this bit in bear you form, but I had to, to come kin. back as human form because it just would not trigger. Straight from the crash? Uh, they Wandering, just kept disappearing unbidden. for some reason. And in the so yeah, I've turned into a human form farming. and we've all plotted on down to see what the crack is. Disc. And then in Gith, we basically just tell them that these are our local guides. We'll kill them when they stop being useful. Even though one of them's a Gith. In Gith armor. Cunning. You will do well, Yes, Binisk. very cunning. You will return to the crash and fetch reinforcements. But first, a question. Yes, what is your we question? We hunt a weapon taken from the Gith slave ship. Have you seen such an item? No. You feel Shadow Heart's anxiety. Don't worry, Shadow Heart. We're not going to snitch on you. Seeks. It's the artifact that she Even though carries, we have the artifact her mind now. Focuses. The she doesn't have it anymore. We just took it they from her in the middle of the, the weapon weird they seek daydream is thing. Right within their and no one's mentioned it since for some reason. What is ours? No yeah, we don't know of it. I don't know what you're talking make about. Sure work of this hunt. Make for the crash. And if you come across any survivors of the Gake vessel, kill them and search them thoroughly. Of course. Beretha. Keep Full cavity search for any better. dead body we find. To Danos, we fly. So the dragons are really cool. But notice how everybody's here with us. Everybody was part of that conversation, right? Girl trembles. Your the game doesn't agree though. Lazel sees your memories of your conference. So she's reading her mind to see that conversation that just happened. Just Even though she was right there. Knight Supreme, an honorable warrior, Vlacket's finest. I am impressed. He wanted your head, yet it remains firmly atop your shoulders. Yeah, we're boys. A lesser woman would be adorning the road as a shredded corpse. No, we're gift. We're fine. If Impressive. It's nice the nicest thing you've ever said to truthful, me. Then consider me positively, positively pleasant. pleasant. Now, to the point. I like the way their voice actor says positively. Far from where you met Voss. Like, positively. We must go there immediately. Positively. Unless, of course, you positively draw the waxy tendrils where there were no tendrils before. Yeah, I would rather not have any tendrils. Waxy tendrils Keep me at as your well. side and Oof. I will invoke protocol. It is our people. You were here the whole time. The I don't know why you're mad. Had I been traveling with you, we might have avoided the night's fury. You were traveling. You're right here. Somehow, Karlak has turned Entirely. ten feet tall as well. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned yes, from the writings in the Kalir Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. I do quite like the whole Gith story arc as well. Now, why is Karlak so tall? Or you simply weren't listening. She's like ten feet Countless tall. Why is Lazel so tiny? Beyond, 
Observing the ways of our lessons. We're both Gith. We're, I'm the smallest a Gith can be as well. I, like, I think I chose like a really low, like small height. Rage. The plains are ever quaking, but she's small, so much smaller. Than Look at Karla. She's the fucking giant. <laughs> an eternity of knowledge. She's not this big. I don't know why it's put this big. This cutscene got so messed up. Infinities upon infinities. Now I have seen you enlightened. I will report your progress to Vlakith herself once I ascend. Cool. And then we spoke to Shadowheart, and it got even weirder. About Ladel. She posed a threat. What about to her? Me. I hope you understand that. So this conversation happens she normally my hand. if you let Shadowheart kill Lazel. But as you can see, Lazel's right there. So I was a bit confused selecting my options here. I was like, what? Like, what has happened? That is a great deal of trust. Yeah, well, yeah you're fine. I, I trust you it. for but killing Lazel, even though Lazel's blind. I think Shadowheart's going a bit We're crazy. Gathering enemies by the day. You're right, Shadowheart. Do you need, like, some water? Maybe a nap? Fine. What's on your mind? Yeah, this, I was super confused by this bit. And then from here on out, it just gets glitchier and glitchier and glitchier. And there's a bit later on where the game is just broken and I have to, like, keep restarting it. But yeah, we hopped on across here. I had to do this bit in human mode as well to get what Raphael to trigger. Because it wouldn't trigger when I was in bear form. A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Road to damnation. Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. Yes, it's just beginning. It hasn't been a complete mess already. The, occasion? Hmm. the words to a lullaby. I don't want to hear your damn lullaby, Raphael. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. What's that? It's not a lullaby. <laughs> Who are you singing to sleep with that? To write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met. I, I don't know where the fuck Cormier is, but no babies are having a good sleep, are they? Service. Whatever happened to Rob? Charmed, my baby. I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly. Literally in the middle of nowhere. There's literally a town right behind tastes. you. Come. Although his house is pretty cool. Look at the food he's got. There, middle of. I would love to go to like a feast like this one day. I don't like this at all. Like a medieval style feast where it's just like massive chunks of food in the middle of the room like, how does it stay warm though Tart, i bet it's cold no need for i bet back then they just ate cold food yours. all the time as you can see i'm so they don't have electricity to keep it warm unless they have like heated tables or something house of hope. a little fire where under the, the table come to rest you know like you get a bain marie where it's the little feed pro lavishly. like chemically on, candle buttake. thing underneath the water enjoy your supper i wonder if they had an equivalent of that it might just be your last. Raphael, I want some snacks. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. So let's eat the food. It would be so funny if there was more and more options. Just keep ignoring him and keep taking more food. And he just kept getting annoyed. What's better than a devil you don't know? A dead one. <laughs> a devil you do. Oh, I didn't get Fuck. it. Fuck. A cambion. It's fine, Carla. A friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. I love the music but whenever you're in Raphael's areas. That's for certain. It's like the organ just going hard in the background. <laughs> My, aren't you a I'll chop your fucking one. wings off, mate. I assure you I'm here to help. No, you're not, not harm. You liar. Consider your predicament. I don't have a predicament. Scar, I'm fine. The game's breaking. And I have no a tap hole in my head. Sight. I could fix it all. I am uh, like a bear. That. That's about it. Imagine a bear 
turning into a mind flare. Would it just look like a mind flare? Like, madness, but a or do the mind flares all just look the same because they only do shoot Still, only things? Like, what if you turn I've into a bear as you're getting turned into a mind flare? Before Are you like some weird tentacle faced bear? Try to cure yourself. Shop around. I don't know how that works. Bang. Borrow and steal. Yeah, we're we'll shopping around. Every possibility until none are left. And when Shut up, dude. has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. There we went. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest I like it when she calls you is soldier. a weakness. You need to find me a girl or call me soldier, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flare. Oh, what a laughing mind like. flare sound like. All those like, blah, 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 blah. pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, like uh, Doctor Zoidberg from they haven't uh, manifested Futurama. yet, have they? <laughs> One might say. You're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Why? Are you being mean to us? It was really mean of him to teleport a car like that on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Bloody hells. Bloody hells. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, Literally. a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Yes, we can. Now, we'll be all right, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I think he's a bit of a knobhead, to be honest. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. No doubt Simple as that. He seemed powerful no and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Nah, fuck him. Good. Can't trust him. That's what I wanted to hear. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers. Sometimes I forget how dark Shah is. He was is. toying with his food. <laughs> Us. She'll say some shit sometimes, and I'll be like, bruh. Are you okay? Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Smiling.